When it comes to one of the most noticeable invasive species in southern Florida, the green iguana likely comes to mind. And this makes sense, because their populations have exploded in the Sunshine State. Hello everyone, here I have this juvenile green iguana that I just caught. I made sure to wear a glove so it wouldn't get me with those teeth. But, green iguanas are one of the more docile iguana species, usually not trying to bite unless if it's an aggressive adult male. However, this being a juvenile, he did a little bit of resisting in the start, but has not tried to bite me. I can also tell with his posture that he is not very interested in biting because if he was in an aggressive state, he would have his throat flared out more. Now, what I just realized about the iguana spines is that the spines along the tail are quite spiky and they can use this to whip potential predators. However, the dorsal spines are actually quite soft. They kind of just bend over like so. They have razor sharp teeth, but they do not eat insects. Instead, these lizards are vegetarians eating primarily plant life. Young ones will occasionally snack on insects, but their main focus is things like leaves, grass, or flowers. Now, they originate from regions from Central and South America and were introduced here around in the 1950s where they've been growing in populations ever since. They've been spreading north, but with those northern temperatures, they can't really withstand them well. And you've probably seen things about iguanas falling out of trees when it goes to the 40s. The green iguana's impact on native habitats is not as severe as species such as the Nile monitor, Argentine tegu, or Burmese python but they do have the potential to cause their fair share of damage. For example, they can diminish populations of many plants that other native species require to survive, creating imbalance within the ecosystem. However, another one of their issues is that they can be a nuisance to people. Where the iguana populations have exploded, particularly in Miami and southward into the Florida Keys, there are so many of them that they can wreak havoc on many gardens and devour the plants within them. Green iguanas, especially adult males, can be extremely defensive if harassed or captured, and their razor-sharp teeth can cause significant injury. Although this iguana was quite calm when I was holding it for this video, this is not always the case with these reptiles. If you'd like to see more videos on Florida's invasive lizard species, please consider subscribing. If you haven't yet, go watch my video on another one of Florida's notorious invaders, the cane toad. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.